Davis, one of Donald Trump's former girlfriends, went on TV this morning to defend him, saying that he treated her well and that she never saw him demean or degrade other women. And Trump, too, is defending himself and lashing out at the news media. Trump tweeted over the weekend, the media is really on a witch hunt against me. False reporting and plenty of it, but we will prevail. What got him going this time, ABC News asking him what tax rate he pays. His response, none of your business. Also, there was a story in the Washington Post that accused him of posing as a phony publicist named John Miller in a 1991 phone interview with People magazine. The Post had an audio tape of Miller, who sounds a lot like Trump, bragging about Trump's popularity with women. Trump says the voice on the tape was not him. And finally, a New York Times article that looked back at the way Trump behaved toward women over the years. It says he made unwelcome romantic advances and sometimes made fun of the way they looked. A former model who dated Trump in the 1990s says the story misquoted her. He never made me feel like um, I was being demeaned in any way. Uh, he never offended me in any way. Um, he was very gracious. I saw him around all types of people, all types of women. Um, he, was, he was very kind, thoughtful, generous. President Obama also took some shots at Trump this weekend. He spoke at a graduation ceremony at Rutgers University, and he didn't mention Trump by name, but you knew who he was talking about. Isolating or disparaging Muslims, suggesting that they should be treated differently when it comes to entering this country. That is not just a betrayal of our values. It would alienate the very communities at home and abroad who are our most important partners in the fight against violent extremism. As for the Democratic candidates, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders campaigned over the weekend. Kentucky and Oregon hold primaries tomorrow. Clinton wants to stop Sanders from winning any more states. Every time she loses, it causes people to wonder if she's strong enough to defeat Trump in November. What about a third party candidate for president? The Washington Post says Mitt Romney is lining up money to pay for somebody to challenge Trump and Clinton. The Post says he's reached out to Senator Ben Sass of Nebraska and Ohio Governor John Kasich. Thank you.